Okay, I got another one here with a bad injector. Uh, the last one I did was a Lincoln MKS. This is a Ford Taurus uh, 2014. And this is a 3.5. The Lincoln was a 3.7. This is basically the same design engine. Uh, let me show you some data I pulled up already. To, um, to show you what I mean about a bad injector. Okay, so on this car... It is acting up now. Um, it's misfiring, it's running bad, check engine lights on. Uh, I got some data already in the scan tool. I'll show you what I what I what I do to diagnose this car as an injector issue besides the codes and uh, you know give me a good indication. Okay, so right now we're open loop. Uh, you can see the filter numbers. Okay. Now it's closed. You see bank two. Now this one has a code for a um, Injector number four, which is still in the bank two, <clears throat> so that's why you see the fuel train and bank two, you know, high. When it's a uh, no fuel misfire like this one is, like a bad injector, it will give that bank high readings, high fuel trim readings, which is what you see here, uh, 30, 36, 34, um, O2 sensor data. Uh, you can see this one here is the bottom one here. This is bank two. This is the after the catalytic converter. These are after, these are before. Um, you can see the after on bank two is reading lean. Um, so that would also indicate, you know, a, a, a fuel issue with bank two because that's from bank two. Uh, O2 oh, sensor. Uh, this one is a this one's a bank two sensor one. You see, it's 1.1.0. 1. 1. Stays at 1.0. I don't really look at that too too much because the ideal lambda would be one, and it's staying pretty much at one. So that wouldn't really tell me any anything a lot uh, anything. But if I rev it up a little bit, it's 79 grams. Um, still doing it's still adding fuel on bank two because of the bad injector um, I'm gonna do a same I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the Lincoln which is use the ohm meter to check the resistance of the O2 sensor and uh, just hold it okay I'm hooked up with the number four injector and it's reading 0.61 milliohms which is a lot of ohms. It shouldn't be at milliamp scale. It should, I mean, uh, millions of amp scale. It should be at the just the regular. Uh, it should be about 16 ohms. Say the truth. I'm gonna compare it to a good one. You see, I'm connected to number four. I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna compare it to number five, which is right next to it. Okay, that's reading mega ohms. 0.63 mega ohms. Okay, so let me hook up to the next one, which is number five. My, my best friend. She's a girl. All right, now hooked up to number five. They see the ohms on it. It's 15 ohms. So that so that tells me that number four injector is bad. <laughs> 